Hey gorgeous souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another one of my videos today. So today's video is a podcast episode taken from the number one spirituality podcast on iTunes, my podcast, Spiritual Queen's Badass Podcast, which is available on all streaming platforms. And today's interview is with the lovely Maureen Selene. So Maureen teaches family constellations and she has an incredible book out as well on all things family constellations. I first came across this healing modality through Goop Lab on Netflix and I was absolutely hooked. I have done a few sessions myself um, with a family constellations practitioner and have seen a huge results and absolutely love this. So much so I had to get Maureen on the podcast and ask her all about family constellations, how we can use it in our life and what the benefits are and how this impacts our manifestations and abundance. So I really hope you're going to enjoy this podcast episode and of course please do let me know your thoughts and your biggest takeaway in the comments below because I would love to hear what your thoughts are and if you've experienced anything like this before. So without further ado, let's get on with the interview and I hope you're going to get lots of amazing information from this deeply enriching conversation with Maureen and I. So thank you so much guys for joining me for another one of my Spiritual Queen's Badass Podcast episodes. I am so excited to have the lovely Maureen Cellini with us today. So Maureen, if you don't know, is a Miami-based family constellations therapist, author and speaker. Since 2019, she's partnered with Goop Health as an expert and in 2020, she joined Hay House with with her book, Connected Fates, Separate Destinies, using family constellations therapy to recover from inherited stories and trauma. Her unique approach to family constellations helps people heal from family wounds and find individual blocks rooted in the family system. I am so excited to talk all things family constellations today. I found this tour modality um, last year after watching it on Sex, Love and Goop. I was instantly obsessed with it and thought I have to try this. So I have done family constellations I want to share some amazing things that happened for me as someone who's done this therapy but when I came across Maureen's work I knew I had to get her on the podcast and I'm so excited for her to share with you today what family constellations is and how this can help us because it is so fascinating what this modality does but welcome to the show Maureen thank you so much Emma for having me today thank you so much my pleasure how are you doing I'm good and you Good, thank you. I'm really excited to be chatting here with you tonight. So one question that I love to ask every guest that comes on the podcast is, when did you spiritually awaken? What's your story? Would you class yourself as spiritual? It happened when I moved to the United States, actually, United States, sorry, in Miami. So it was in 2009. I was 23, 22, 23, and I met a woman who introduced me to meditation and Abraham Hicks, you know, the law of attractions. And at first I have to say, I was pretty skeptical about it. I was like, yeah, sure. Ask, believe, receive, it's going to work, you know? <laughs> so that was my first step, you know, like into my spiritual journey. And then after a few months of still being resistant, I would say, you know, to it, I guess I found it pretty calming and soothing and then that's when you know like I started diving deeper um, into it amazing so what did you do before you know what you all the amazing things you do now what career path were you in I was actually I finished my studies in psychology when I was 22 23 and then I moved right away to Miami with my former husband so then how I started my career I did it as a PR and managing a spa beauty, like things like that. And then after a few years, I was like, okay, you know what? I just want to go back to psychology. And then I discovered Family Constellations at 25, 26. And it was love at first sight. And I was like, okay, I just want to do this. You know, like that's my thing. So I studied with Mark Wallin and then Susie Turker in New York. And then finally, I launched my practice in 2014. Amazing. So how did you come across Family Constellations then? 
Well, like I was telling you earlier, Emma, you know, like I was on my spiritual path journey and um, this woman introduced me to family constellations. She was visiting her daughter in New York. And when she came back to Miami, she was like, Maureen, you got to try it. It's amazing. It's about your family. It's about channeling your ancestors and this and that, you know, like you need to do it. And I was like, okay, you know, like whatever, like why not? And so I would forever remember, you know, my first constellation because it was all about love. I just wanted to know uh, why my man, you know, the man of my life was still not <laughs> part of my life. I was pretty upset about it. And it's just blown my mind, you know, like, because whatever I thought was my truth and my reality at that time, the field, you know, where the constellation takes its own place just show me something so different but in the meantime, it made so much sense mm. that for the first time in my life, I found peace. And this for me was truly the beginning of my awakening through family constellations, spiritual, of course, practice. But this really like changed uh, my life entirely. That's for Amazing. sure. Amazing. And now it's helping change other people's lives as well. Which yeah. is- Fantastic. <laughs> so like I said I first came across Family Constellations through Sex Love and Goop if you haven't watched it on Netflix highly recommend it it's Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop Lab um, fabulous season one's amazing and season two as well and when I saw this Family Constellations um, episode I thought oh my god like I've never heard of this before what is this but as I was watching it play out through the episode and seeing the couple work with it I really thought this is what has been missing from my my healing journey like I've done so much on myself so much inner work on myself and my past and my life and I thought there are fears and there are things that I know are not mine but they've been passed down and I wonder whether this could help because I could see the patterns from my mother line and my mother and my grandmother and I was like I wonder if some of this isn't actually mine and it's actually been passed down for me to heal so I found someone in the UK called Sarah C. Rogers who did um, Family Constellations and I had I think it was about three or four sessions with her and it blew my my mind just how accurate it was um and there was so much sort of trauma along my mother line um not with my own mother but her mother and of generations past and it gave me so many answers that I never thought I would have and my nan had dementia so we could never have certain conversations earthbound because it just got to a point where, you know, she, could, she couldn't talk, she wouldn't understand. So for me, I always felt this sort of pain of like, I'm never going to be able to have a conversation with her. I'm never going to be able to find peace with everything that's happened in my lifetime since I've known her and obviously with my mum as well for, for her sake with her mum and further. So it was always something that I felt was really unresolved and I did these sessions and found so much peace and so much understanding and had a whole new respect for my mother line, which I never had before and so much peace. So when my nan did pass away earlier this year, I felt totally at peace. I felt like I'd had that closure. I'd had that conversation. I had all those things that I was searching for. And I thought, wow, imagine if I hadn't done those sessions. Imagine if I didn't have the awareness I have now of my nan's journey, of what happened to her, of why certain things happened and how much peace I have from talking spirit bound instead of earthbound. So, um, I absolutely swear by it. I loved it. And it just literally gave me such an amazing experience with my nan that I just wouldn't have had with her passing otherwise. I'm very happy for you. That's amazing. You got the full reconciliation, bringing back together, you know, what was once separated. Mm-hmm. It's in the words that you just use, peace. Um, it blew my mind. It's exactly what my clients also share with me. Like it's peace, you know, that you can really uh, find through family constellations process. Definitely. Well, let's talk about what family constellations is because people, yeah, sure. <laughs> what on earth are they doing to be taken aback and life changed from it? So can you explain to us where did um, family constellations originate from? How did it start and what is it? So it's from Germany. And the founder of it is Bert Hellinger. 
long story short, he was a priest in the 20s and he went to discover the Zulu tribe in Africa. And the Zulu use, you know, like a type of family constellations to resolve any miscommunication, misagreement between the community, okay? And Bert Hellinger found it fascinating that in this tribe, it was actually flowing, you know, like no passive behavior, anger, you know, passive aggressive anger, frustration, resentment, like people were just like more than welcome to speak their truth in order to resolve, you know, like any conflicts part of the tribe. And so when he came back to Germany, it was like, I'm pretty sure I can do something, you know, like on a psychological level. And then he developed family constellations therapy. Family constellations is a way of uncovering and dissolving any blockages affecting your life, your health, your career, your love life, your relationship with others through the story of your family. Because here's the thing, and like you were saying, from generation to generation, it has been scientifically proven that we can pass on trauma from generation to generation. And why does the family system do that? It's because the family system is always looking for reparation, healing. And if the current generation is not taking care of it, meaning healing from it, recognizing, acknowledging, talking about it, the family system will ask the next generation to take care of it. So then the family system can basically breathe again, you know, like feeling at peace again. So through family constellations, that's what we do. We uncover a trauma, a story, a missing person, um, a difficult situation. And then we take care of it by acknowledging it. So then you, you can just take care of your own life, your own destiny, because again, your ancestors, you know, like they only do well when you do well. And then finally, you can be in the present moment. And if you would like, give birth to another generation without passing on the former trauma. Mm, so important isn't it and I think you know from doing it firsthand from learning about this I can see you know why this is so important for every single person to do because you know like myself I could easily identify after doing so much work like what wasn't mine and why is this sticking why have I felt this my whole entire life so I think that was a, a quite big indicator for me but how can someone who's listening identify if they do have any sort of ancestral trauma or anything past down most of the time despite your best efforts you know like to really take care of it heal from it it's still coming back Mm. at that moment you can be 90 percent sure that it comes from your past it comes from your family story because you as an adult you can definitely you know like use your words, mention your emotion, your feelings in order to take care of one of your traumas or situations. But when it's not yours, a component in a way will always be missed, you know, like, so you cannot fully heal from it. It's when maybe you feel more, yeah, resentful, anxious, you know, like you don't really know what happened. Most of the time, look back, it's in your past. Mm, so true and you know we can identify so much from our own life of okay this is why those relationships are playing out in my life or this is why I have this relationship with money but like you say if you're tracking it back and you're doing that work but like you say the problem's still arising that belief's still there whatever it is 
um you know yes it could be past life but also could it could be ancestral as well which I knew nothing about until I looked into all of this so on Goop Lab they show obviously um with physical people they do a constellation with physical people there acting as members of the family so do go and watch the scene even on YouTube so you can understand what we mean by this um in my one I actually use crystals as representatives because obviously I didn't do a physical one so what are the differences and what are the different ways we can do family constellations I love that she used crystals uh so me when I do it online remotely I use cards mm -hmm. to show to my clients there is a picture and a word and I just ask them how do you feel when you look at the cards uh when I work in person one-on-one -on -one, I use footsteps so then the client can place the footsteps on the floor. And then, of course, in the workshop setting, you know, like real uh, people are going to represent um, the situation for you. Just keep in mind that this part is a constellation. So it's entering your subconscious. Mm. So it does not matter, you know, like which way you are going to do it remotely in person or in a workshop setting. Because at the end of the day, it's only, you know, like to to see what has been repressed, what has been unsaid, unspoken. And then through your emotion, through your feelings, and of course, based on the questions that your therapist or facilitator would ask you before, you know, during the constellation, she or he will be able to, I would say, connect the dots together and be like, oh, okay, I can see your mom had a miscarriage before you, so you're a rainbow baby. So maybe also that's where your anxiety started you know like this guilt of being alive of not you know like having your sibling here like things like that it's like um you know the game clue mm -hmm. it's kind of this you know for me you know like you just put all of the evidence together and then you set up the constellation amazing and it's just so fascinating as well having done one how you start channeling and like how all this information was just coming through to me about people I never met people I barely knew about and I thought this is crazy. Like, I know I'm not just making this up. Like I really felt the emotions, like I felt the emotions come over me. So it's, it's really fascinating, like how much you experienced during the constellation as a person doing it. it. It can be very intense actually, because it's a flow of emotions that you do know, do not belong to you, mm -hmm. but in the meantime, it belongs to you. And actually, I think, I don't know for you, but the beauty of this work is also to feel that you are not on your own. Mm. like they are invisible but they are all behind you actually supporting you guiding you and giving you permission yes do the work free yourself you know like do better than us and I think this is something that we can deeply feel in our core when we are doing this work mm, absolutely I love that definitely so how can diving into family constellations help us along our spiritual journey well we all have a family, whether you like it or not. We have one dad, one mom. Maybe, of course, we can have two moms, two dads, you know, like our legal guardian. But we are part of a family, no matter what. That's how, you know, like we received the gift of life. In our family, you can always find stories, difficult situations, estranged members, miscarriages, war stories, refugee, uh, cancer, you know, like rape, abuse, so many things. Before, I would say, our generation, so I'm born in the 80s, it's pretty new to take care of yourself. It's pretty new to talk with your parents, you know, like to talk about what's going on, you know, mom and dad. So I would say this work is really to give you a strong foundation, a solid one, in order to finally fly on your own and spread your wings. Because when you get this strong foundation, whatever happened when you will be flying, you can always go back to it. And that's create a safety net. And it's within yourself. It's self-confidence, it's self-esteem, it's self-worth, it's I am more than enough. And this, when you get it from your family, you are unbreakable. Mm -hmm. Because again, you can always go back to this love. Mm -hmm. So I think, unfortunately, when you are part of an abusive family, 
violence or even adopted or foster kids, as an adult, you owe it to your little boy, little girl, the inner child, to give him, give her as well this permission of belonging, of having this foundation. So yes, of course, we can talk about what's fair and unfair, but you know what, at the end of the day, what happened happened, but right now, as you can definitely recreate this foundation and through family constellation, it's just going to, for me, it's the root of your spiritual journey. You start, you know, with your came from, and then you add, um, I don't know, a breath work, Reiki, acupuncture, massage, ayahuasca, and everything. But I think it's important to have deep, solid roots. Mm, absolutely. And, you know, I'm a big preacher of inner child work. I love it. I teach it. And I feel like even my inner child found so much peace from doing family constellations and experiencing that. And it's really interesting how obviously like the practitioner said, like, you're not allowed to discuss this with your family. You're not allowed to tell them details of it if they were like involved with it. And obviously, like I haven't just because of the sensitivity of it all. But it's interesting how even since that, like how relationships have shifted, how the energy has changed and how I've even seen healing in my mother, for example, even though like she hasn't done the constellations. So I've always heard of like when you do the work, like, you know, the line does the work and stuff. But it was amazing to actually see that as well. Do you find that's common? Yes, actually, when you do a family constellations, it has an impact on seven generations. So three before you and three after you, and of course you own your generation. The thing is, you are going to change. You are going to become more peaceful. So of course, your relationship with others are just going to reflect your new self. They are not going to change, but you by changing and shifting your perception, it's going to influence, you know, like a new flow. And I've seen it so many times. I also personally experienced it with my own life, with my own story. So you do the work for you. It's all about you. But then the ripple effect of it, it's endless. It's limitless. And that's also the beauty of the work to see this strong connection with each other's. Definitely. And it, it's so beautiful, like you say, to see that healing, which people have wanted for so long and, um, you know, like craved and have that inner child piece as well. So if anybody's listening and they're like, this sounds great, but Marie and I've gone through like a really abusive relationship with my family. Like I don't speak to them or they would really struggle with this. What advice would you give them if they feel maybe even intimidated to maybe even dive into this work? There is absolutely no problem at all. First of all, whatever you know about your story is more than enough. You do not need to talk to your parents, neither your siblings, grandparents, if you don't want it, if you don't feel it. Because whatever you would like to work on, we will find the answers together. That's kind of the same question with Marina was adopted. Or my parents died when I was two. So it's already actually a great indication on why right now you are struggling. Mm. Again, don't be addicted to your story and knowing everything about it. If you want to be an addict, be an addict to your emotion and feelings. Because that's exactly you know, where the shift will happen. It's by feelings and we heal. You can understand with your story, but that's just one part of it. The healing part is a reconnection with your feelings and emotions. And this, the good news is, you do not need anyone. So don't worry about this. Then of course, if you feel it that you would like to write a letter to one of your parents because you feel the urge to do it, feel free to do it. Love that, great advice, thank you. So what are your top tips if someone wanted to get started with this work, what would you suggest? Honestly, you can work on anything with family constellations because again, your family system follows you everywhere. At work, with your love life, with your future children, with your health, anywhere. So maybe you are right now struggling with your career. You cannot make money or you cannot find, you know, like your dream job. 
Or maybe right now you're struggling with your husband or your wife or with one of your children. Or maybe you have been dealing with anxiety for the past 20 years. Or maybe right now you are trying to conceive. And for the past two years, unfortunately, still no pregnancy. Or you had a lot of abortions or miscarriages. Or you also um, always attract toxic partners or like eating disorders or addictions. So I would say if you really want to do a constellation or like on a few sessions, you need to be ready to be responsible for your own life. Mm. That's, I would say, you know, like my only recommendation because the reality check sometimes can be brutal through family constellations because again, as I was telling you, long story short, I thought my father was my problem. <laughs> you know, like I thought it was because of him, you know, that I couldn't have a beautiful relationship with my men. Well, the reality of my story was much more different, you know, that I had in my mind. So first of all, I had to accept that I was wrong. Mm. And you don't like being wrong. Come on, like you want to be right, you know, like you want to be acknowledged, like tell me that Marine is right, please, you know, like tell me I can blame my dad, please, because this is so easy. It's so simple. It's not me, it's him. Come on, please. But you don't heal by not being responsible. And I know my clients are like, Marine, she has tough love, but you can, you still feel loved by her, you know, like, because sometimes I'm like, hey, buddy, wake up, wake up, because it's not by holding on to your story of what your parents did or did not, that you're going to be able to move on. Mm. So really, w- when you want to do a constellation, it's like, okay, I'm just taking full responsibility for my life. I'm in charge of my life, and I just want to be a happy adult. I don't care of being right anymore. I just want to be happy. Mm. And at this moment, some magic can happen. I love that. And it's so true about being right. What's your star sign, by the way? <laughs> cancer. Oh, Cancer. I, was, I thought you were going to say Virgo. <laughs> no, because no, my rising is Capricorn. Oh, stubborn. I have the two opposite signs, you know? So the Cancer is a very nourishing you know like lovely and then the captain is like okay let's do it you know what baby time to move on so <laughs> which sign are you emma i'm a virgo and an aries <laughs> rising so i'm very stubborn as well <laughs> i love it great combination and exactly and you know like i thought along my journey as well like i was convinced it'd be my father line that needed the work i was like convinced dad father line or not at all complete mother line <laughs> so I was even there like do you know what I'm just gonna let this unfold how it's meant to I'm just gonna go with the flow and I think that's the beautiful thing when we can just step out of our own way and just allow it to be what it needs to be and just witness it process it like you say heal it and then be like actually this doesn't have to define my life moving forwards I can choose a new identity I can release that past identity and know okay those things happen to me in my life. Those things happen to my assessors in their lives. But moving forward, it doesn't have to pass down. It doesn't have to go further. And I can have that peace. I can have that happiness. Um, and like you say, feel present and feel in the moment um, and, and heal and experience the manifestations and the abundance that you know, you, you're know you wanting to, to have in your life. So although me and Marie are obviously biased because we've done this, um, you know, I can obviously <laughs> say from personal experience, this does work. Work. Um, go check out the Goop Lab episode if you want to see one in action, just so you can get more of an understanding. Um, but it was so much fun to do them, and I would I would say it's probably the second most powerful therapy that I've had, um, which literally changed everything for me so that's why I wanted to talk um, with you today and obviously share this on the podcast as well so more people could learn about it so Maureen then your book um, which is connected fate separate destinies using family constellations therapy to recover from inherited stories and trauma is out now so can you tell us a little bit about this book and what we can expect from it so I would say it's an introduction to family constellations. And if you want, you can do the exercises and practice the affirmations in order to finally break free from your family story. 
Um, I share the six principles of family constellations. So then you can also get a better understanding of what it is and where I would, I would love, you know, like to guide you. Um, it's very easy to read. As you can hear, I'm French. So, you know, like my words are very simple and no matter what, I do not believe in complicating, you know, like the process of healing. I think it's easier when it's more simple. And uh, yes, it's, um, it's a first step, you know, like a gentle one, you can take your time, you can just go back to one chapter, you know, you can also read the book from chapter five, it's all about love, and then you can be like, okay, chapter two, it's about inner child, so you don't even need to follow, you know, like the chapter after chapter, you just do your own recipe, I would say, and hopefully it will bring you more understanding, light, and above all, freedom to finally write your own destiny. That's for sure. That's my wish when you get my book. I love that. So where can my lovely listeners find more about your work, Maureen, if they want to come over and find you? Yes. Yeah, so you type Maureen Cellini, you will find my website, you will find my Instagram, my Facebook, even my LinkedIn, I think. <laughs> and um, I'm in Miami, I'm based in Miami, but I also travel to New York and LA, if you're of course in America. But then the good news is I also work remotely. And I have the actually the chance to have a lot of clients in UK, because it's only a five hours difference. So it's manageable, you know, like to do the work together. And then, last but not least, um, I have my training in Family Constellations. It's like um, reading my book, but with me talking to you with online classes, guiding you again to do the work, to dive deeper. And again, it's unlimited access to all of the videos, so you can take your time. There is no rush. And if you just would like, you know, like to start on your own, I also think it's a great way to do it. Amazing. And I'll also put a clickable link to Maureen's website below so you can click on that for ease as well. So Maureen, my last question to you today then is, what is one piece of life advice that you'd like to leave my lovely listeners with? (laughs) Have fun. (laughs) Have fun with your life, please. Have fun. Honestly, have a blast. Like life is supposed to be fun and we overthink about a few matters that actually are so pointless. You are great. You are beautiful. You are smart. The world is yours. Take the lead of your life and just have fun. Really. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much for sharing that. A lovely gentle reminder of have more fun guys. Definitely. I think we all need that reminder sometimes. Definitely. When life gets too serious. Well, thank you so much, Marina. It's honestly been such a pleasure chatting with you. I've learned tons from this. So hopefully everyone else listening has taken so many amazing pearls of wisdom away with them as well. Um, and I'll put a link to Marine's book in the description as well, if you want to learn more about her book. But um, yeah, thank you so much, Marine, for coming on. It's been such a joy. Thank you so much, Emma, for your trust. Thank you so much. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. I appreciate all your views and likes. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because I would love, love to see you again soon. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the comments box down below because I replied to them all. And don't forget you can join my free Law of Attraction support group over on Facebook where I can join myself and other like-minded souls where we talk all things Law of Attraction and spirituality. I hope you have a fantastic week, whatever you're up to. And I'll see you all in my next YouTube video, which will be on Friday. Lots of love.